Pachinko is being called one of the best new shows of the year. This epic TV saga follows four generations of a Korean immigrant family. The series travels between Korea, Japan, and America, telling their multi-generational story of sacrifice, oppression, and resilience. Showrunner and executive producer and writer Su Hyu based the series on a New York Times bestselling novel of the same name, and the story is told through Sanja, who grew up in Korea in the early 20th century under Japanese rule. In this clip, Sanja, played by Min Ha, Kim, catches the eye of Han Su, who's a powerful fish broker. He's played by South Korean superstar Lee Min Ho. I think there's love in the air. First on CBS Mornings, filmmaker, filmmaker rather, Sue Hugh joins us. I was going to say at the table, but really in the living room. In the living room. Well. Oh, no, I'm going to move in. It is so nice to meet Thanks you. I was up late me. watching. I was just going to watch half of it just to get an idea. And before I knew it, it was one o'clock in the morning. Hold you in. Three episodes. Yes. yes. It's so good. But listen to this review for you, Miss Sue Hugh. Is it too soon to crown this the best show of 2022? Mm. What do you think when you hear that? You it's got to feel really good considering how hard it took for you to get this on the screen. I think that's what it is. I, would, I, would, I wish I can say the reviews didn't matter, but <laughs> for this show, because of how long it took, it took us four years to make this, and so many people just really gave us their blood, sweat, and tears, to read reviews of people who not only just accepted and embraced the show, but who got the show. A show, this is a difficult show to get. Yes. Mm. It's, it means a lot. Well, there's a lot going on, Sue, because it's told in Korean, Japanese, and English. I've never seen that before. There are, and it, it jumps from multiple uh, time periods. But at the heart of it, it's a forbidden love story, and it's about the story of this little girl, Sanja, who I just immediately fell in love with. Yeah. You say this is a relatable story, even to people who are not of Korean descent. Why? Absolutely. So many people have come up to me through the making of this show for the four years. People from all backgrounds, all ages, and they talk about, I just want you to know, this reminds me of my grandmother. Mm. She came over from Germany. She came over from Ghana. She came over, and then you just realize everyone has a sunja in their lives, mm -hmm. all of us. Um, and that's what this show has done. It's really started that conversation with so many people, so many tears. Yes, mm. yes, lots of tears, and really tugs at the heartstrings. Also, it's so celebratory, too. Yes. I, I want people, you drew me in with the open of the show. Your decision, the decision that you made to have such a celebratory open, because I, uh, to be honest, I didn't even know what Pachinko was. I didn't know if it was a person. I didn't know if it was a place. You knew, huh? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I spent some time in Japan um, okay. and in Korea, but but also so I read the book. My wife and I read the book so by you, Min Jin Lee, and so. Yeah. But but tell everyone, but what, what Pachinko? Did you know what Pachinko is? No. And oh, I had no idea. So Pachinko is this arcade-like game. It's like a pinball machine, mm -hmm. straight up, and it's a game of chance. Balls go flying in the air, and you either win or lose. You have no control over it, and it's a great metaphor for the show as well. Right. And you say the show is, it's, it's a universal story about humanity. Now, when we read the book, we thought to ourselves, this has got to be turned into a movie <laughs> or a series. I'm a huge or fan of Minji Lee. Yeah, it's a wonderful book. You've made some changes, but the universal theme of that humanity is inherent throughout the entirety of it. Good. I mean, because the book was this staggering achievement, in thinking about the adaptation to screen, the question was, how do we tell this story in the cinematic form, which is so different from the novel form. And the thing I was most interested in was that conversation between generations, because it's my story. Yeah. My parents came to this country. I was an immigrant. It's, a, it's the story that I really latched onto because it was the most personal. You said when you grew up, you didn't have access to filmmaking. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about That's A Thousand Miles. Yes, I yes. thought that yeah, was Yeah, it's, it's your program yeah. for aspiring writers. And I give UCP and Universal so much credit for really putting their mouth in their checkbook mm. where you know, in terms for this program. But growing up in Towson, Maryland and wanting to be a filmmaker, I always say Hollywood felt like going to the moon. Mm. It might as well be the moon, right? Yeah. And I just don't want that sense of struggle to 
I would love it if people had a better opening. Your program's called A Thousand Miles. And it's based on this Chinese proverb that the f road to a thousand miles starts with one single step. Yep, and I, right. just, I love that idea. Can I just say you look pretty good sitting on top of the moon? There's one, <laughs> final, one final review. Pachinko is a triumph of visual storytelling that goes in its own direction and finds a destination that leaves you absolutely floored in how masterfully it executes its vision. So bravo, go nice. you. Bravo, so, so, so good. Warm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We appreciate you. You can watch Pachinko starting today on Apple TV+. Plus.